while this is not a new thing, this was changed in patch 2.4, there was a sneaky little change on the Shockwave Druid that I finally sat down and tested and looked at the numbers and actually came up with what I think is happening. And hopefully I can explain where the extra damage is coming from because Shockwave kind of rips. So we're looking at a max werebear, max shockwave, max maul druid setup. And the tooltip for shockwave says 843 to 873 damage. It shoots out five missiles, but they have a four frame next hit delay. So they can't all hit the same target simultaneously. They'll only get hit by one of them. And if you didn't know, 800 damage ain't that much. But let's go and kill Shank, Hell Difficulty, on Player's 1 settings with our Werebear Druid, and let's look at how long it takes us to kill him. All right, so let's go ahead and clear out the monsters around here. You see we're like, you know, two to three shotting everything around him. Not that bad. It's only Player's 1 settings, that's fine. Now let's walk up to him and let's just hold down right click until he's dead. There are these guys real quick. There we go. Get over here, Shank. A one, a two, a three, a four, and he's almost dead. Five. Cool. Five shockwaves to kill him. What was that? We're doing, on average, 858 damage. Wait a minute. How much life does Shank have? Because that's only like what? It was about 4.5 attacks because he got really low in that last one. It's only around 4,000 damage that we were doing. Pretty sure Shank has more life than that. But how is it possible that we killed Shank in five hits only doing 800 damage? Well, let's look at Shank's life. He does have 40% physical damage reduction, so let's look at what his effective life against us is, since we're only doing physical damage. So we take his average life of 19,062, divided by your 0.6, so one minus his physical damage reduction, and he effectively has 31,000 life against us. That doesn't really make any sense. So how do we get to that number, considering this is how much damage we needed to do, and this is how much damage that we have, but we're clearly getting some type of skill damage bonus from somewhere. Now I'll let you know, this actually came as a shock to me right now. I didn't realize that the max roll calc was actually already ahead of my understanding, but you notice that we have something called an off weapon increase of 670% here. Where would that 670% come from? Spoiler alert, it's not off weapon increase, it's technically off skill damage increase. I don't know how that's possible, but we'll get there. When I look at Shockwave, it has damage and then it gains damage equal to Maul's skill level as a synergy. But if I go and look at Werebear, you'll see that there's that damage increase of 685. Well, hold on. 685, which gives you 15% damage increase for each level. Oh, what are the chances that the Werebear damage is actually somehow increasing our shockwave damage? That kind of doesn't make any sense, but I guess it technically says skill damage. Let's run another test and I'll, I'll drop Werebear down to skill level one and we'll see how fast we kill Shank. So I'm gonna respec enough stats to be able to use my gear. Only one point into Werebear, still maxing out Maul, still maxing out shockwave. And let's go attack Shank. One, a two, a three, a four, he's almost dead, five. All right then, well, that doesn't make any sense, right? If it was the werebear skill, I just dropped 300% skill damage when I reduced werebear down to only one skill point. I'll go ahead and cut to the chase here. One, I've already tested with other sources of off weapon enhanced damage like Might Aura, Wolverine Aura. I maxed out Maul and then got the damage increase from that. None of that affects the shockwave damage, but it looks weird that it appears to be your werebear's 15% increased damage per skill level minus one. And I was sitting here with chat and we figured out the math and it's actually kind of wild, but there's just some kind of hidden off skill enhanced damage bonus for shockwave that for whatever reason wasn't in the patch notes for 2.4. Doesn't make sense for how synergies or skill damage works. It's actually just like kind of simple and that's how we get to the number that we do. So let's do it again. If we take our shockwave damage, and this is after synergies, and we multiply this by one, which is equal to 100% of damage, plus shockwave level, minus one, multiply by 15% damage increase. Because it's almost mirroring the damage increase that you get 
from Werebear, minus skill level 1, but we just proved that changing the Werebear skill level doesn't change anything to how quickly we kill him. And again, in previous testing, I showed that part of the Wolverine doesn't do anything, Maul doesn't do anything, as well as enhanced damage on gear, or enhanced damage from something like Might or from the Mercenary. So let me show you what the damage will look like here if you consider this hidden skill damage buff. So shockwave damage after synergies is 843 to 873. I'll take the average 858. Multiply by one plus our shockwave level. Our shockwave level minus one, which is 46, which makes it 45. Multiply by that 15% increase. What that gets you to is 858. Multiply by 815 or 8.15 multiplier. And that gets you to 6,992 damage per shockwave. Hmm, that times five is 31,963. Oh, and remember, he was almost dead on that last shockwave. So let's say it was more like 4.5 shockwaves. Huh, all of a sudden, the damage that we would have had to deal if, for whatever reason, shockwave was gaining Shockwave level minus one multiplied by 15% off skill damage is the exact amount of damage that you would need to kill Shank on players one in single player when he has 40% physical damage reduction. Weird, very weird. Why is this a thing? And in fact, here's the even weirder part. Our max roll calc, which is based off of the actual game files and the and the coding logs that's in the game was actually already capturing this and I, I just never knew it. Now obviously it's not off weapon increase, that's just where the logic has to put it here because there is no such thing about off skill enhanced damage. That's not how skills work. That's not how enhanced damage works. For whatever reason, that is how Shockwave is working. So this level 46 Shockwave is unironically doing upwards of 7,000 damage per hit. It actually can hit multiple targets simultaneously. Thank you very much to one, the people who were bringing this up recently in YouTube comments, because I was not aware of this. Even if I was made aware of this previously, for whatever reason, I didn't personally investigate it, but this is what I think the equation looks like. And just keep in mind that you can amplify this damage with the actual curse amplified damage as well as Decrepify, or if you get Grim Ward from Blackhand Key, you can use Grim Ward as well. Kind of interesting. Now, here are a couple of the caveats. The area of effect that this applies over is actually fairly small. You would have to shift into and shift out of bear if you still wanted to use Enigma if we're talking about like end game farming efficiency. But for whatever reason, Shockwave is doing a monstrously larger amount of damage than it should be. I went back and double checked in LOD just to make sure we weren't all out of our minds and just completely ignored this before. Exact same setup, exact same test, got the exact same outcomes, except for the fact that the damage in LOD is what the sheet damage says. The damage here is absolutely bananas. And just because while I was doing this video, I got a couple questions from chat. It has nothing to do with your Werebear skill level. It is just mirroring the damage that is increased from Werebear. It is solely based off of Shockwave. That's it. What, for whatever reason, Shockwave level minus one multiplied by 15% increased damage off skill is being added to your damage for no reason. There's nothing in the patch notes to say why this has happened. Kind of similar to how find item all of a sudden was getting a synergy from find potion wasn't originally in the patch notes and then they updated them saying, oh, hey, find potion is a synergy for find item. We haven't gotten that yet on Shockwave and I think it's kind of wild. So for the people who posted to Reddit and who were posting in different people's channels and Discord being like, hey, Shockwave is broken. Why is nobody talking about this? There you go. I hope that this at least helps to helps to make up for the lost time. But yeah, Shockwave Bear, pretty sick damage output. I don't think it all of a sudden is like catapulted into like a wildly efficient farming build. There's no reason not to do it. Much safer than something like a Wind Druid. You're going to be sent on like 3000 plus life, upwards of 6000 life, six or 7k physical damage in a cone area around you. Also stun stuff. Kind of makes me wonder why you'd ever play a Singer Barbarian at this point. But yeah. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you found in your own testing. I'm pretty sure that this is the equation. And for whatever reason, it just holds up mathematically. Again, not related to any other skills. Shockwave just has this baked into it. And there you go. Shockwave Druid, new meta. Go ahead, run around, get a decrep on your mercenary and just absolutely shatter things. I hope that this was interesting at the very least. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.